while I worked as English language interpreter and translator, uh, I was also uh, yeah, wearing headscarf and uh, it, did, it did not hinder my work, my performance in any manner whatsoever. Actually, I worked for the registry office, uh, which basically provided uh, uh, assistance to court, the court of Bosnia-Herzegovina and the prosecutor's office of Bosnia-Herzegovina. I worked uh, in war crimes cases as well, which were very challenging, very demanding. Uh, however, my hijab, my headscarf never uh, never was uh, basically uh, a problem for me, for my professional work as an interpreter or translator. Uh, today also it does not represent any problem whatsoever for my work as a senior assistant uh, at the English department, for my work with the students of different ethnicities, different religions. Uh, so for me it is absolutely unacceptable uh, to label Muslim women wearing headscarf uh, as uh, potentially prejudice as women, people who will have any kind of bias towards or against someone. Uh, so, in my opinion and in my experience, uh, Muslim women wearing headscarf uh, can perfectly uh, fulfill all their, all their duties, all their obligations. Uh, basically, for me, it never hindered my performance in any manner whatsoever. Uh, so, uh, recently in our country, in Bosnia-Herzegovina, uh, we have uh, a decision issued by High Judicial and Prosecutorial Council of our country, namely decision referring to religious symbols in, at the judiciary institu institutions of our country. And it raised many issues. Um, in my opinion, uh, this decision is primarily vague, namely it refers to religious symbols in general, however in practice it actually targets only Muslim women wearing headscarves because it is actually uh, part of our, of our identity, part of who we are. So uh, unlike uh, cross or crucifix necklace, which uh, can be still worn or hidden in a shirt or uh, under a jacket, uh, headscarf is part of Muslim women identity and it cannot be removed.